How's it going guys? I want to show you an obnoxious thing to do from rubber guard. So here, my opponent or training partner or whatever. Uh, broken down the posture, starting to work for my rubber guard. Isn't this stuff all good? Whichever one of those particular variants I want to do. But for whatever reason, I've decided not to do any of these attacks to the arm, even though I can do all kinds of attacks. He's very concentrated on his, his upper body. He's kind of not paying attention to his lower body. So this is a little bit of an old catch wrestling hip lock, but in a different context. If I can grab his heel with my elbow, brace down there. So that's kind of hard to notice what's going on, but the elbow is blocking his knee so that he, uh, the lower half of his leg is getting over rotated in a way that his knee does not want to bend. So I can bend it that way, or I could actually cup the heel, but I have to break, if I just pull it this way, it's not really, you know, his hip moves with it, but if I brace it down there with the elbow, now that creates kind of a pivot point. And let's switch positions. So I'm gonna demonstrate what's actually happening here from a completely different position. So if you're on your back, this has more in common with the old catch wrestling hip locks where this is going across, this is coming down on the hip, and this either creates a hip tap or a knee rotation tap. So that's an old hip lock, but let's go back to rubber guard. So here, breaking down posture, and I'm starting to kind of create whichever of these obnoxious rubber guard positions that I want to create, okay, except He's concentrated on the upper body. I, I'm not even finalizing my rubber guard upper body stuff because I actually don't care about rubber guard. I'm moving down here, bracing with the elbow, rotating there, or bracing with the elbow, grabbing around the heel with the cupped hand. So, some of you not watching that might be like, looking at that and thinking that it doesn't look like anything but just experiment a little bit with your training partners and do it slowly. You can find a particular angle to recreate that same exact tension that you get from an old catch wrestling hip lock, except it's from a very different counterintuitive position. So maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't, but just a little low percentage, but highly injury risk kind of move for you to experiment with. Have fun.